Hey guys, Sponge Murphy here. So in one of my last videos, uh, I had one of my Storm Vermin models, and it was an update video. And on it, uh, the body of the model, it was mounted on a little piece of wood, a little toothpick, just the exact same as this, just a little bit thicker. And uh, and I I pinned all the parts of the model from this is from only from the last few weeks, uh, and this is I pin them all onto it, and this is how I kind of paint it from now on. I do a piece by piece. It makes it a lot easier. And in one of the comments below, one of the guys want to know how I did it. Uh, like, how did I get him to stick onto the two picks? And it's it's pretty simple. Um, and all you really need is obviously you get like a cork just to stick the two pick in, just to get it good and secure so it won't come out. And then the other piece for the body, because I usually stick it under the body. I have one here actually. I usually stick that in there, and all I do is for the body, if I have it here, the glue. All I do is just put the smallest little bit of glue onto that. Maybe that's even a little bit too much. And this is this isn't a toothpick. It's I think it's one of those skewers you can get for like barbecues. It's a bit thicker, and just as long as you get a flat edge on it like that for the body part here on the bottom. It's pretty simple. And all you do is you find a spot like that and just kind of hold it in for just a few minutes just until the glue kind of sets. And you're not really damaging any of the model because it's underneath. This is a part that you're not really going to see because once it's on the base, you're not going to really see up under there. So if you want to do the body, that's the first part I do. I'll just leave that over there. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stop the video and let that dry and I'll come back to it then. Alright, so it's just a little over a minute and it's kind of set a good bit on it. And that's it for the body. That should stay pretty secure. You can spray it and then just paint away on the body as well. And then onto the smaller parts where you'll have like bits like these, like the heads and the arms, and even the bigger piece like this, I just still just don't use one too big for it. This one is it's not more complicated, but you just have to be careful with the pin. Uh, I have the old GW pinning thing, pinning drill or whatever it's called. And what I do is I drill in through the inside of the arm. So this is the arm here, and this is kind of the part that will go into the socket that won't be seen. So let's make sure I get this on camera. So you kind of want to drill through the part that's going to be hidden, you know, that's going to be glued into the, the arm part. Itself. So I'm just going to pause here and do it off camera. So right there as you can see I got it in so it'll focus. So you just kinda you don't want to go too far because you don't want it to pop through from to the other side. And just toward it the other way. Just get a good clean edge on it. And as you can see the little hole and then when you get your toe pick, like I've used this one before. So these will have like a little sharp edge and you just want to kind of just tap it like that. Just to get some of the little kind of sharp edges off it and then once again just make sure you haven't done too much just kind of dry fit it yeah that'll fit in there what you're going to want to do is just put the tiniest little bit of glue again it'll come out just a little bit on there Then you're just going to want to fix it into the hole. And just give it a good push. And literally that's it. Just give that a couple of seconds, or a couple of minutes, to dry. And then once you're finished, once this is all dry, all you have to do is kind of hold the arm and twist. And this should kind of pop out if you didn't put too much glue on it. But if not, yeah, if you get the pliers, and snip it right at the base of it there in contact up at the top and then it's going to sand down or file down if there's a little bit of stick sticking out but it, it is going to go into the socket like that's for that side there so you're not going to see it anyway but just to get a smooth finish on to make sure it fits alright so uh, I kind of babbled on a bit a few little things went wrong in that video but hopefully it helped some of you it's 
I started doing this technique from I think it's like the last two weeks even. And it's been much easier to paint models. It's a lot easier to get uh, painted details on them. Uh, the only thing you have to kind of look out for is when you're gluing the painted arm to the head back in. Make sure none of the glue kind of comes out over and then goes over the paint job that you've done. And uh, that's about it. I hope you guys found it informative. And uh, thanks for watching. Leave a comment below and hit the like button. And I'll see you guys in the next video.